Okay, so now we're going to look at how we can calculate the effective address for the indirect addressing mode. So a sample instruction that uses the indirect addressing mode would be LDI, and the register transfer notation for that instruction is right here. Um, so if we can look at this part right here, which is going to be our effective address for the instruction. So any other instruction that uses the indirect addressing mode will have the same uh, effective address. Um, another example is STI. Okay, so now we're going to walk through the control signals that the finite state machine would send to perform this address calculation. So we're going to start over here the same way that we started with the direct addressing mode by starting with the IR bits 8 through 0 and the PC. So we get these right here, and then we want to send the same signals, the address 1 mux selects the PC, and then the address 2 mux selects the instruction register bits 8 down to 0. So once those go through here and they're through the adder, the next control signal that we're going to send is this one right here for the marmux. So we can say that the marmux selects the address adder. I'm going to abbreviate it a little bit. So once we get that through the marmux, we want to open the gate. So we can open the gate by sending the same control signal as last time, gate marmux. So once we open the gate, then um, the data that we have is on the bus. So, so far, we've just done this part right here, PC plus offset 9. So we need to read that value from memory in order to calculate the full effective address. So to read from memory, we need to load that value into the MAR. So the only control signal we need to do that would be to write enable the MAR. Once we've uh, write enabled the MAR, we have our address in the MAR, and we can send a control signal to memory to enable it for reading. So this is a 2-bit control signal that um, turns on memory and then says either for reading or writing. So once we send that control signal to memory, we want to wait for the ready signal from memory. And then once we get that ready signal from memory that it's done reading from that address, we want to load that value into the MDR. So we want to send a write enable to the MDR. I think. And then once we've done that, we should get the value back into the MAR. So to do that, we just have to get the value back onto the gate and then load it back into the MAR. So sorry, not the value back into the gate, but back onto the bus by opening the gate. So we want to send a control signal to open the gate. And then our last control signal is going to be to load the MAR again. And then um, that would give us our full effective address in the MAR.